On Friday, US President Joe Biden met with representatives of Palestine in East Jerusalem. He visited the Augusta Victoria Hospital where he pledged $100 million in aid to six Palestinian hospitals. Biden's pledge to fund Palestinian hospitals comes amid heightened tensions in the region. Israel initiated airstrikes on Gaza hours after Biden left the country. Israel says that rockets had been fired from the Gaza. The money would go to six Palestinian hospitals, which Biden called the backbone of health care for Palestinians. It is a reversal on Donald Trump's 2018 policy, which saw the United States haul $25 million of funding to the hospitals. Biden's pledge would need congressional approval to go through. The hospital CEO called Biden's visit a courageous statement of support for the Palestinian people. If the US Congress approves Biden's promise, the $100 million will be paid out over several years. Palestinian hospitals are already under severe financial stress. The hospital Biden visited was owed more than 70 million dollars by the Palestinian Authority in 2021. Biden's pledge is a restarting of U.S. aid to Palestine, but the deep-rooted issues in the region remain unresolved. Today, I'm pleased to announce the United States is committing an additional $100 million to support these hospitals. Your staffs and that work for the Palestinian people.